There are some dark Batman stories, but the one you are about to hear right now might be one of the darkest. We are in Earth Zero, also known as the first world of the multiverse, and there is something weird going on. Dad, I told you, you need to get out of Star Labs now. Something serious is going on. Some kind of invasion. Cities are falling. That is precisely why I'm staying put. I want to understand what's going on here. We see Victor Stone, better known as Cyborg, talking to his father, suggesting he should get out of the city. But his father explains that he is sitting in one of the best protected laboratories in North America, and that his son is the one who needs protection. Dad, I promise you, I am in a very safe place too. Cyborg then informs his father that the Gotham they once knew is gone. He struggles to comprehend the current circumstances, which is why he's at the watchtower, attempting to investigate further. But then he hears a beeping noise. What's that? An attack? No, one of the members is teleporting in. And Cyborg is very happy to see that it's Batman. He quickly gets up from his chair and explains to his father that perhaps Batman will help him to understand this chaos. Batman! However, when he goes to meet him... Don't worry, Cyborg. I'm here to help. And that's when we witness what happened months ago in Earth-44. A world from the dark multiverse, where Batman's loyal butler, Alfred, is under attack. Tell us where is Batman? A group of villains led by Bane keep torturing and beating Alfred for information. But Alfred... Uh, Batman? Who? ...says nothing. Uh, perhaps there is... Uh, 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 another way I can be of service? So they decide to kill him. Play again, Bruce. This has to stop. Bruce keeps watching the video of Alfred's death over and over again. But that's when Superman interrupts him. The entire Justice League voices their concern for Bruce's mental health, but he clarifies that... I'll tell you what's not healthy, Clark. It's not healthy to stand here knowing that the man who raised me like a father is in a casket upstairs with 36 shattered bones. That's the moment his friends depart, leaving him to mourn. However, Bruce asks Cyborg to stay and proceeds to explain that several years prior, he started scanning Alfred's mind with the intention of crafting an artificial intelligence model based on him, and he needs Cyborg's help to finish it. What are you asking me, Bruce? I need your help. Please, Vic. I need him. He was like a father to me. And then we're back to Earth Zero, where Cyborg keeps attempting to battle this evil Batman. And it's evident that it's the same Batman from Earth-44 because... Victor! Victor, what's happening? Hello, Dr. Stone. You know, your son Victor was one of my closest friends. He helped me when no one else would. He reunited me with my father after I had thought I'd lost him. It is strange, I admit, seeing Cyborg again. Cyborg kicks evil Batman to the face and quickly gets up on his feet. I don't know who you are or why you're pretending to be Batman. But you're not getting near my father! Cyborg continues to fight Batman. But by the way Batman talks, it's clear that something bad happened in Earth-44. However, before any clarification is provided, Evil Batman introduces one of his trusted allies into the fight. How may I help you? And it's an AI hologram of Alfred, who's ready to kill. And that's when we find out what happened on Earth-44. You see, Cyborg agreed to help Bruce after he requested Cyborg's assistance in developing the AI version of Alfred, also known as the Alfred Protocol. But when it was activated, it started to spread like a virus building itself new robotic bodies and holograms. And since Alfred always wanted to protect Bruce, the AI started to kill every enemy of Batman. Look! I'm not going to go after Batman anymore, see? I'm going to the airport now. You don't have to kill me, too! I'll leave! How may I help you? How may I help you? Bruce, what the hell is going on? Cyborg explains that last night, the Alfred Protocol killed every single inmate in Arkham Asylum. And that's why they have to deactivate the program right now. And Bruce agrees with Cyborg, 
but he clarifies that Alfred's actions come from his deep care for Bruce. Therefore, Bruce expresses his desire to make one last attempt to reprogram Alfred. I already lost him once, Victor. I can fix this, make it better, and keep him. Cyborg leaves Bruce to fight Alfred, commands him to act faster, and asks him not to let Alfred get close to him. Let me in, sir. Ring the bell, sir. Let me help you, sir. But sadly, Batman didn't listen to Cyborg, because... You were wrong, Vic! The best thing I ever did was let him in! Bruce was unable to stop Alfred, and it assimilated with him. He lost his sense of fear, sadness, and humanity. That's why evil Batman is now better known as Batman the Murder Machine, and he's simply a cybernetically enhanced evil version of Batman. Next came my weak human flesh. It was growing older and more brittle by the day. Earth's Zero Cyborg keeps trying to fight him, but Batman explains that there is no use in doing that because he simply doesn't have any weaknesses to exploit. How may I help you? How may I help you? How may I help you? No! I won't let you do this! I'm sorry, Victor, but how could you hope to stop me here when you couldn't stop me on my world? We see that in his world, Batman managed to kill the entire Justice League. And when Earth's negative 44 cyborg tried to stop him... Bruce! The best part of you is your humanity. You can let go of Alfred and be yourself again! Victor, I am precisely who I want to be. Batman grabs Cyborg by the neck and easily... kills him. This world that is allowed to live while so many others die. Hey man, I didn't write the rules of the cosmos. And that is your great folly, Victor. You are the weakest of the League. Because if you were willing to cast off the last of your humanity, you would be the strongest. Cyborg keeps trying to fight the murder machine. But no matter what he does, Batman keeps outsmarting him. I will unmute your father now. I would like him to hear this. Victor, is that you? And that's when he brings some of his friends to the fight. And as Cyborg's dad listens on... Victor, what's going on? They proceed to beat him. Tell me! Is there something I can do? Thank you, Dr. Stone. You have been great service to us. One of my associates will be gathering you soon. So you will continue to be. No, I Terminate won't let call. you. He really had no idea, did he? Another Batman from the dark multiverse known as Batman Who Laughs emerges. He explains his intentions to use the metal from Cyborg to build something useful. And that's when we see the entire world being destroyed by the evil Batmans.